Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another uh, craft with me. Um, again, this is another inspired video. I follow Amanda over at Scrimping Mommy fantastic creator I uh, watch her and I just I just giggle she's got this laugh that is just so contagious and um, so fun that it, it makes it just makes watching her super super cool she's also really like when she does her folios and stuff she's very very particular because of the measurements are important but other than that she's really just like she just goes with the flow, similar to what I do. So, and I always appreciate that. I think it's a good perspective. Um, although, you know, we're all different and that's what makes the, the world a beautiful, beautiful place. So this, it, this project is inspired by Amanda. I will link her video down below in the description box. Um, I do want to preface the video by saying, if you hear any background noise, there's somebody behind us in a property that I think they've got a big machine back there trying to scrape their driveway and their road. We've got a lot of ice and snow here, and it's not melting because our temperatures are not getting above 25 degrees. So we're in for another storm tomorrow with uh, freezing rain. Um, it's going to be it's going to be ice, snow, ice 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 so it's gonna be it's gonna be insane so I thought I would try to get another video in uh, today while I have some internet because it, their chances are we'll lose internet because of the ice on the power lines and the trees so uh, fingers crossed though <laughs> so let's get going let me show you what supplies I have here and what we're gonna be doing I've got my Fabri-Tac my uh, vintage photo archival ink I have my bone folder to make my creases and my ruler so I can show you the dimensions, scissors in case I need them. I like to use this to poke my seam binding through my eyelet holes. I've got my eyelet setter here, so that's ready to go as well. I've got some seam binding for the one that we're going to decorate. So I'm going to make three on camera. Again, two I'm going to show you the fold. Uh, fold process just get them folded and then I'll finish those ones offline because I'm working on three journals right now the two winter journals and then my journal for I'm calling it right now the sweet Yvonne journal it's from my friend Yvonne from the Netherlands so um, so I'm kind of I'm triple teaming it <laughs> which is fine so this is the prototype so it's a it's a um, origami type of fold and I am debating on how I, whoops, my needle's there. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can use this. You can um, just have it be free floating, which is why I put this clip on this side. It could be clipped to the side of a page. Um, but what I did is I left, so it opens like this. Let me take all the bits out so I can show you the construction. So it opens like this. Okay, and it opens all the way up for writing space. Now Amanda decided, I need to ink that edge, Amanda decided to go ahead and glue hers. So once she did all her folds, she glued it to make a pocket, um, a pocket here, and then glued this part shut, and then the bottom of this. I'm not going to do that. Um, I might do it on some of them, but I want them to be free floating. Hers were designed to be a belly band, so to be glued at the top and the bottom. I think that only way that that would work is if you didn't have it open back up into a huge writing space, because how are you gonna do that when it's attached to the journal? So I thought for this one, we'll leave the writing, writing space available and we'll clip it in to the journal. So we've got a couple of cards here. This is one of them for Yvonne's journal. And so we've got a tag and a journal card. And so I'm just gonna stick that right there. So it's just hitting the top of that. And then we've got another card here with this beautiful lady and she's just gonna sit right in there. And then a cute little card. Did I have that one in the back? Yeah, I think I had it sticking in the back of that one. And then we've got this clip will hold everything together and we'll hold it also to the page. So it doesn't hold this closed. So that's why we've got this other little, this is one of the mini paper clips from Tim Holtz. So I never use them because I forget I have them. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on there and that will hold that part um, closed. So this one's gonna be free floating in the journal clipped to the side of a page, but it's beautiful. This paper will be added to the supply list for the Yvonne journal as well as the uh, Winter Wonder journals because I have I don't think I've used it. Maybe I used it in the Winter journals, I'm not sure, but I'll add it to the supply list for the Yvonne journal. So um, this is from her Angels kit. It's the, one of the papers in the kit. So there is that. Oh, dimensions, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? 
So it measures three and a half inches wide, and I believe it's about seven and a quarter inches. Yes, yeah, seven, just um, just shy. Well, about a little over seven and an eighth inch. So she is um, she used A4 paper, which is bigger than um, U.S. letter size. So I just realized as I was fussing with it, why did I have this extra bit at the bottom? And it's because our papers are the wrong dimensions. So I'll show you how you can just ma make it fit the paper that you want it to fit. So we are going to do this one on camera, the full decorating. So I'm gonna set this piece and all these bits that are falling off aside and we will come back to that. So let me just show you the folds first. So let's go ahead and do one of the winter ones to start with. So um, I do have a buyer for the winter journal, uh, the winter wonder journal number one. There will still be the second one if anybody is interested or that you can contact me via my email. My contact information is always below in the description box. So we're gonna score this um, at three and a half inches. So I'm actually gonna bring my scoreboard over. Sorry for the, the waffling here. Let's just bring her over and do this, do this right. So you do want to have paper that is, in my opinion, not directional. Um, I tried to play with a directional, kind of a collage-y looking paper and it looked really, really strange. So it doesn't matter since this whole bit is all the same and it's not directional, um, I'm gonna just, um, it doesn't matter which which side I score, I guess is my point. So you do want whatever you want to show most on the front of your folder or your, your little um, origami pocket belly band thing is you want that down, okay? And so again, it doesn't matter which way this goes, so I'm gonna just go ahead and stick this right here and I'm just gonna score at three and a half. Where's my thing? So we've got one, two, three and a half, right there. Okay, and we shouldn't need the sort, whoops, whoa, what happened? I will, does it pop right in there? There we go, rough hands. Okay, so, so we've got that side down, so we're gonna fold this over on our score line, okay? We're gonna ink as we go a little bit because it makes it easier to see where your next fold needs to line up. So again, you're folding from the left. You could fold it from the right as well, depending on which way you want it to open. Totally up to you. I tend to favor this side, so maybe we'll do the other one opposite. So I'm just giving that a good score, and I am gonna ink up this edge here the score mark so that we know where to line up our next fold. So just gonna ink that up as well. I'm so happy that um, one of my subscribers reached out and wants to buy the, the Winter One Journal, Winter Wonder Journal. I'm so happy. Makes me happy when somebody who's been following gets a chance to get one of the journals because um, they're so fun to make and she's been following along in the whole process, which is cool. So the next step is you're gonna take this right uh, right hand, upper, upper right hand corner, and you're gonna fold it down. So you want this whole line to meet up with that edge. So I hope you guys can see that. Let me bring this down a little bit. So you want it to line up with that, that inked edge that we just did. Now I usually use 65 pound paper. I printed these digitals on a 40 pound paper because it's pretty bulky even with 49 pound paper. I think this is a project you could easily do with 20 pound or 32 pound perhaps um, because there's so many folds, it, it creates some stability that you would not normally um, have. So that is our next fold. And then the next fold is you're gonna fold this whole thing over like that, okay? So that's gonna go really, really, really pretty. I'm gonna give that a crease again. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this edge this way, okay? So we're gonna fold it back on itself like that. So I am actually going to make a mark so that I can um, score this with my scoreboard because again, it's multiple layers of paper. So I'm just gonna make a mark right there, okay? And actually, let me see if I can mark the bottom because that's where my I'm gonna line up with the scoreboard here. So sorry for the fiddling. 
There we go. Right there. So I'm just going to turn and score this really quick. There we go. It should be the same measurement. So each of these sections should be the same. So this section here is three and a half. This section is three and a half. This one is going to be slightly um, bigger, so we'll have to trim off a little bit, but it should measure out at three and a half. So each of your sections will be that measurement. So then, again, we're folding this way. You want to make sure that you don't fold this one clear to the to the fold because otherwise it will bind. So I did leave a little bit of room there. And then you're going to fold this back on itself. Okay, and so this is where we're getting into some thick thickness here, but I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. Okay. So now you can see this is the part that we have left over that this needs to be cut off and then this little edge needs to be cut off. So just about a quarter, not even a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to trim that with my scissors. Easy peasy. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. There's our Z fold, kind of a Z fold. So, um, so again, it, this could be opened up into a writing space. I'm still thinking about that, so I'm not going to make a decision about it um, because I feel like this is one of those that I could do um, a velcro velcro closure on four corners and attach this to a page, and then it could be lifted off written on and put back. I'm um, The jury's still out. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So totally up to you. Um, maybe we should do this one. Should we do this? Should we glue this one just for the sake of the video? I think we will glue this one. So let me just ink this up and I'll be right back. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just glue this one shut. So... I hope that you'll go over and check out Amanda. She is darling, a darling, very, very, very ama amazing crafter. She's a digital designer. A lot of people know her, so I would be surprised if you don't. Um, but she's uh, she's sweet. So please go over and show her some love because this is not my idea. Um, but I feel like if this sends people to her channel, I that's what I want. So. Um, there we go. So what we can do here is, I wonder if we can get rid of some of this bulk if we're going to do that. We still do, we still get the bulk on this fold though, so it doesn't really solve that problem. I think on, I might play with that on off camera uh, because I'll have one more to do off camera, so I have one for my reference journal. So I think we're just going to straight up glue this down. If I can find my glue here, I got my... Um, fabric tack but not my white glue so and I think I'm going to actually glue this shut so that it doesn't move around inside of there my husband is out and about today um, he's a facilities managers manager for a lo local um, credit union and um, so he has to take care of all the property and all the internal workings of the the branches and everything. So he's got to go to a bunch of branches with uh, one of his guys and shovel the sidewalks and get them safe so that they can open tomorrow. So he's out and about today. Where's my metal ruler? There it is. So I like to get my metal ruler in here, make sure that I didn't I didn't get my glue so far. Oh, just open that up. So just pinch it there. Should be fine should be fine there we go so that is our first pocket so let's go ahead and do the second one and I'll do the decorating on this one as well off camera and I'll put the stuff in it now if it's a belly band um, which is I think I want this one to be a belly band is um, you can put stuff behind so I'll be creating some big journal cards to go behind that as well so let's go ahead and do this one so I'm gonna again bring the scoreboard over just to review this one more time for you in terms of just the folding part I figure since I have to make them anyway I may as well do that so let's turn it this way and we're gonna again score at three and a half inches ish so we've got one two three and a half 
Oh, I'm completely off camera, guys. In mid mid score here. So sorry. There we go. Okay. So again, you're going to fold this in. I'm not going to ink this one up other than this internal edge just so you can see we can see the line. Um, and I'll just finish it off camera. So I'm going to open that back up. I'm going to ink the edge. Okay. So that is that. And then we're going to fold this one down. And I hope you guys can see I'm, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there. I'm not coming all the way to that fold. And I'm just going to give it a good press there. And then give it a good crease. Boom. Okay. And then this one folds over like that. Oh, that's really kind of pretty. I wish that wasn't so plain there, but it's going to be all right. Maybe we'll put some, a, some, a cool, because this is going to be a belly band, so it'll be glued down. So maybe I'll put a, a nice whale tail tab or some kind of decoration up there. And then again, this one is going to fold. Uh, it's going to be scored here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler in that same fashion to create um, my line so that I have a mark at the bottom because I need it to line up on the scoreboard. So pencil line. And then I'm just going to turn to the scoreboard and score this. I love this project. It's definitely going in my in my reference journal, which I'm going to be starting the, um, I'm going to do the vi first video this week. So you guys, I did have people uh, respond and say that they would really like to see the making of that. So my, I'm, I'm a little bit crooked on the bottom, but since I'm shading this off, I'm not worried about it. It's probably this fold here. So I'm just going to trim off that little edge that we talked about. And there you go. We are definitely crooked there, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. So that is the second one. So you can stick a paper clip on it. Um, this is going to go in Yvonne's journal too, I believe. So I'll figure out a way to make that um, in her style. And then the back is really pretty too. In this case, it's not going to matter because this is going to get glued down as a belly band. So that is our second one. So let's work on the last one, which is the one that we're going to decorate together. So I've got all the bits here. I just got these buttons at Joann's and they're super thin. They're like, like they're so thin. It's crazy. Hope you guys can see that. But they're, they're almost like, feel like paper thin and they're kind of bent and stuff, which I think is really cool. So we've got that to decorate this and we've got all these bits. I've got these tiny little clips from Tim Holtz as well. Again, I never remember that I have them, but I tried them out and they will hold that stuff closed. So We've got some journal cards. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to put in all the pockets. So I've got a bunch of stuff here that's already kind of prepped. But we'll talk about it when we get to that point. So this time, I think we're going to um, just score on the table here. That, that will work just fine. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out how you can get... I think I want to go this way because I think I want more of this to show. But I'm not sure if it's going to. So we're gonna just see. I don't do backwards very well and upside down, so um, enjoy the ride. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this here and I'm just gonna measure um, just with my ruler in case you don't have a scoreboard. You don't have to have a scoreboard, so three and a half is right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna use my ruler right here and actually, I never remember to get this thing out. Hold on. Because I always I get things crooked if I don't use some kind of a grid or something like my cut my cutting tool. So if I use this, I can make sure that I've got a straight line. So this is just a 12 by 12 um, cutting mat. So I'm just going to put that there, just so that I know that it's even, Stephen. Um, we've got a, a square corner is what I'm looking for there, and we're going to um, line the ruler up. Oh, let me line that up, line up line that one up with a line instead of the um, the mark itself. There we go. And then we're going to line the ruler up. So now I've got this as a guide. And if I move it down, I've got a guide on the top and the bottom, which is nifty. So there we're going to turn that a little bit. 
there we go. So I'm just going to use this stylus tool, I'm hoping it's going to work, and just use this to score. Okay, and then we can also fold this right on the spot and that will help as well. There we go. Perfecto. So that is our first fold and I'm just going to make sure it's even. And I'm just going to give that a good, um, a good burnish. Like so. So again, we're going to ink this up so that we can see the in this interior line so that when we make our next fold, we, we can just clearly see it just like that. And then you're going to take this upper right hand corner, fold it down. And again, we're guarding that, that fold so we don't get too bulky in there. That looks to be pretty good. And I'm just going to give it a press here. And then a burnish. It's so beautiful outside, you guys. It's been um, stormy and cloudy for days here, so we haven't really seen, been seeing the sun, and it's bright. And so I went out and took some pictures like of the back driveway um, to our neighbor's property where you can see the, the shadow on the snow. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, so there is that. So then our next fold is we're gonna fold this over. This is not what I wanted to have show Gosh, that's a bummer. That is a real bummer. Oh, we do have some of it. Finish the process, Karen. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. And I'm gonna use my ruler to hopefully get a straight-ish line right there and go ahead and make a pencil line. Okay, and we're gonna do that same scoring thing because if you don't have a scoreboard, you don't need one. We don't need everything that we think we need. I'm gonna open that up and I'm going to just line that up on that line. Okay, see that? I'm gonna use my ruler here. And I don't like having a cutting mat on my table because I can't clean it and I like my desk surface to be clean. I had one of these before and I got, I tried to wash it with um, like alcohol and stuff of course it took the numbers off so I'm like that's not gonna work for me I'm too much of a clean freak so I'm gonna use this this little uh, stylus tool to just give that a good crease okay get this out of the way that didn't that didn't work it only creased the part the top part but I think we should be okay so let's fold this this way first I'm gonna kind of use my thumbnail there and see if I can get that. That worked really well. Good. Yay. Okay. Because again, it is a little bulky, even though this is a 40 pound paper. I think you'd do well to do a 32 pound and even 20 pound would probably be fine. So there we've got our Z fold-ish kind of thing. We're a little bit off here. We can always trim that if it's uh, troublesome. Um, it doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna cut that off. Again, that's that little bit right there boom oh, I love this so much so this one I think what I'm gonna do with this one is I think I'm gonna have it be oh how do how come oh it's wait a minute how did that happen hold the fort I'm completely yeah that's right why don't I have extra Oh, the extra's right here. Interesting. Did I fold that differently? I don't know, but we need to cut it off. So we need to cut that full length off. I thought that was weird. I don't know what I did that was different there. But you guys probably saw it. If you if you saw it, you can tell me. I don't mind. We're gonna just trim that whole thing off. That was strange. So again, here, here, and here. I probably just folded something the opposite way or something, knowing me. Okay, because <clears throat> isn't it opening different? It's opening the opposite way. That's interesting. So my other my pr other prototypes, they open this way. Huh, I must have turned it or something, but that's okay. It works. 
So I'm going to take a moment and ink all these edges up because we are going to decorate this one and I will be right back. Okay, I feel good about that. I'm still baffled by how I folded that differently. <laughs> it's not a big deal. So this one is not going to get glued because I want it to be the writing space. So it's going to open this way and it, all that can be written on. Now there will be a slight bit of bulk probably um, when I decorate, I'm going to decorate this little corner and so then when it opens up that little part is going to have a little bit of bulk that would be make it difficult to write on that spot but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so let's look at our pieces. So this is what I was going to use to decorate was a bit of that maybe and maybe a little bit of that, that lace. Did I not get another piece of something here? What did I do with that? Oh my goodness. I thought I grabbed all the stuff that I needed. Maybe we'll use this. I'm not sure yet. So I've got a lot here. So let me talk about it a quick second. So I do want this card in here. This was just an embossed piece of the digital that I did and I just cut it down and I backed it so it can be actually be written on. And so we're gonna punch a hole in that for a tag and it will go in, it should go in this little pocket here. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. It's a little bit big, um, but I think it's going to be okay. So that's going to go in that pocket, and then I thought we would stick one of these people, these these cuties, maybe that one in here. Okay, we'll have to probably cut that one down because we want it to be um, having trouble with this, not because it won't stay closed for me to experiment here. Um, I just, I don't know what I want to be in the front. This one can come up though. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom because it's gonna be all clipped to hold everything in place. So let's just make a journal card out of this. I'm gonna trim just a tad bit off the top. Maybe let's trim it off the bottom. Sorry, dear, I'm gonna trim a little bit of your neck off. Don't hold any grudges. Get around the corners. So this is actually my, um, so I was sick on Thursday. So we were, we had a snow day last Wednesday. I was sick on Thursday. It was no school on Friday, had the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and now it's Monday, which is, um, Martin Luther King day. So no school. And then tomorrow, chances are there will be no school because of the storm. So I'll be ready to go back to work cause I'll be ready for my routine to be returned to me, but so that's not going to be a tag, but I really want this to show, and that's what I'm struggling with. So let's take a little bit off the top of her head too. Sorry, honey, we're going to take your a little bit of your hat off because I want to see that embossed paper. So there we go. That's better. Yeah, so it's just enough smaller. So we're going to go ahead and cut a hole in, or punch a hole in this and put an eyelet in here. So I've got my little um, Memory Keepers eyelet setter here. I like to use the small hole and that's mostly because I don't like to go back and forth um, because then it, it goes wrong and without a doubt, it every time I'll try to flip it to the big size and it doesn't work. So I'm just not doing it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and set that eyelet like so beautiful and then um, we'll wait to put our well maybe we'll just put it on so I've got these were not the colors I really wanted this is way redder I wanted more of an orange red but I don't know what happened to to that color so I don't know if I used it all and something else but I think I think I have used it so we have to just work with what we have so I'm just gonna let go of that desire and let's just go ahead and use this red. I'm just going to cut a length of that and flee that through there. Sometimes I need the stylus because my nails are so long I can't grab it. So I just poke that through and that's super helpful. There we go. I do have to put this between my legs to hold it though. <laughs> I've tried to be diligent and do it on camera. It never works. So 
you're not missing much just uh, just tying a bow there we go there's a bow oh that's really pretty so that's gonna stick in there <clears throat> like so I feel like I want to clip this just so that it will stay still let me just put this big clip right here there we go okay and then this honey is going to just sit in there as well and she'll kind of slide down a bit so that we can see oh that worked out perfectly look at that oh so pretty and then we've got a lot going on here so i'm not going to actually use all of this but i wanted to make a tag out of this because it's nice and tall So we're going to do an eyelet on this one as well. Make sure I got the right side. I do. I don't measure. I just eye spy. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not a big deal. Nothing to cry about or write home about. So I hope my husband gets home soon. He was gracious enough to. I placed a food order just for, I don't know, like eight items that we just really need to have. Um, going into the work week once the storm passes so okay so I think this time I'll use the um, this cream lace I'm almost out of it as well probably need to get more from my my scrap cabin because I use it I use so much of this but my scrap cabin is where I get all of my seam binding my crinkled seam binding so again I'm going to tie this off so the video, um, well, like by the time you see this, the whole drawing has already taken place. So um, in real time, this is Monday, uh, January the 15th. So that announcement is, and the video is going up tonight at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So everybody will know who won. So that's going to stick in that pocket. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Okay, and then we've got this tree I thought would be fun. I do have to share a win though I was with being home so many days in a row I, I took advantage of that time and I've done a little bit of organizing in here relabeled some drawers um, made sense of some of my scraps and got my silhouette machine out my cameo and played with it and it's given me fits nothing but fits it's it doesn't play well with the, my Mac and uh, but I was successful at printing some things last night so I'm going to keep pursuing it and figuring it out because it's I love the machine for cutting out like I don't mind cutting out words and sentiments and things like that in the big ephemera or in things like this I don't mind but um, butterflies and little flower stuff I just makes me crazy <laughs> so this one's not going to have a, um, a tag top we're just going to slide it in there I'm going to have that star stick up oh my gosh it's so cool and then we had this one too but I'm not going to use her because I don't think it fits I think we've got enough Okay, and then we've got this word in winter's embrace. And I was gonna do a little bit of something, something here, but I didn't pull all the stuff out. So I need to figure out what I wanna do. We could actually put, um, put a, um, you know, this thing, goodness gracious, seal on it. Um, I also wanna show you this. So I did some I used the epoxy resin and the little light thing and I made um, this little rose stem using a, um, a clay mold, a silicone clay mold. Now it only works because it's giving me the shape, but it won't give me like the texture. And I did it the same with the, um, the angel wing. So I got a little bit of the upper top, like the wing shapes. It's kind of hard to see against my hand. Uh, there you go. Um, I'm gonna try I bought some actual resin it's not UV resin and I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it I got a like a pastry bag with the tips and I'm gonna put the epoxy resin in there so that I can control where that goes because I've tried resin in the molds before and it just makes a mess so I'm hoping that I can do that but I just saw that in this little box so I had to show you so um, oh, and we also have these I tried it with these two isn't that really cool it's so cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let me um, stop um, rabbit hole in here. 
and figure out what we want to do with this. This is some coffee dyed uh, material that I, um, it's a tablecloth that I bought at the estate sale and I, or no, maybe I got it at an antique shop and it had this beautiful, beautiful lace all around it. So I cut all the lace off and coffee dyed that. So I have another stash of that. And, um, and this is um, the, the original um, tablecloth was uh, cream color with um, some blue embroidery stuff on it. But I just, I'm loving this material. I think it's really cool. So I think it's, I think, I'm thinking it's might gonna be good for something like this. So just trying to distort it a little bit there if I can. That looks very strange at the top. That's better. Weird. Okay. So I'm thinking I just wanna do something simple like that. Maybe this piece of lace as well. Yeah, I like both of those, so we'll do that. So I'm going to take that thread and I'm just gonna sew some thread on my um, button. Oh my goodness, there we go. Um, I'm gonna th sew the button on. I'm gonna use this one here and I really can't, I mean, I guess I could try to do it on here now because I've got two layers. Let's try that and see if that works. Why not? So I will speed this up so you guys don't need to see me see me do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sew this button on. Uh, Bella over at uh, Rachel and Bella Crafts, um, she is so inspiring with her slow stitching. I really, really want to take it up, but I'm just, I need to go back and watch some of her videos and see kind of how she starts and stuff, but it's so beautiful. So talented. <clears throat> there we go. So that's going to go on here. Oh, that's so pretty. Just a little bit of lace, a little bit of um, interest. I'm going to just trim that off a little bit. It's going to cause it to be able to fray a little bit more too, which makes it nice okay so we're just gonna put that on there okay where are we gonna put our word though it's kind of a big one um, let me see if I've got something else here that would work that's not quite so quite so large chili that's not not enough for me but and this is really not the theme I want so what do we want? Simplicity, winter simplicity is longer. I think we'll just use winter's embrace. I think I'm gonna round this off here. Um, I'm gonna bring it far over here though because I don't want it to interfere with the paper clip. Uh, whatever I end up putting there. I'm not going to use a big one, but I don't want it to interfere. So I'm just going to put that in place. Give it a second to set before I start fiddling around. And then we're going to glue this on above it somewhere. And just put that button down. And do I want it to cut? Yeah, I want it to go straight. We're gonna just kind of go like that, keep it simple. Okay, like that. All right, so let me show you what I mean by these clips. So these tiny clips will actually work. Okay, so we've got, we can, at least for this side, because this is a tiny little bit here, that can go right there, okay? It actually holds most of it shut. So this one, did I say this one's gonna be a belly band? I think I said this one was going to be one where I'm gonna use the Velcro and go ahead and give that a try. I'll make some journal cards to go behind it. I think that's what I said. Forgive me if I, if I didn't get that straight. Um, and so then we will need something else to kind of hold this in place. So let me get one of the tiny, tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. So that's this, this one here and we'll put it right here. And then we can tie a bit of uh, seam binding on there. I think I'll do the cream just because we can offset that a little bit and have it be a little bit of both. 
So guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go and I will see you in the next video. You can check out the photos at the end for all of these pieces and how they get decorated and all of that. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.